Hey, welcome back. I did the C64KU motherboard replica a year ago, and it was popular on forum64.de, and the people like asked for how to assemble it and stuff, and I found this cool plugin for a KaiCat, so I can show you. So yeah, this uh, was a really fun project. It was uh, really hard also, <laughs> but uh, it turned out really great in the end, so... Yeah, it's not as popular as the 60 clone and stuff, uh, because uh, <laughs> 60 clone is sold by a person and uh, I don't sell it. So if you order, you get five of them. So it's a bit more expensive if you don't get into a group buy. And the other thing is that maybe 60 clone is cooler because it's uh, <laughs> 250, 407 or no, 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 no. It's 250, 466 version with only two. RAM chips, which this one has eight, so people like the um, 466 uh, more though. But this is about the interactive boom, and um, let's have a look. So this is KiCad loaded in. Uh, <laughs> this is the KU replica loaded in KiCad, and after installing the plugin, I can show you the plugin by the way. It's called Interactive HTML Bomb. It creates a single HTML BOM file. Uh, basically what you do is just uh, clone this project and copy it into your uh, KiCad scripting folder. Then you go to external plugins in uh, PCB new here. Generate interactive HTML BOM. So here you can uh, uh, create like a bomb, like a list of all the components. But what I also like to do, it's a bit heavier, heavier though, is they also include tracks, zones, and nets. And then it will be placed in uh, the boom directory. Just generate the bomb, and then in a moment, um, there you go. Then this file will open. So you can put this on your server. Or uh, I have put this on um, GitHub. Anyway, so this is really cool. So it opens here. Now we can interact with it. So you just hold over whatever component you're assembling or uh, debugging. Like here, for example, these are all the bypass capacitors. And uh, at least for 100 nanofarad. And then you have electrolytics and such. So the other cool feature is that you can follow traces in there. So you just click on them, you can see they uh, turn up red. So really happy about that. About that. <laughs> it's a really cool addition to this project, I think. The interactive boom plugin for the KiCad. So that's just a short video, and uh, I don't think there's so much more news about this board. Um, it's at uh, revision 1.4, so we can look at that I think uh, like an update video for this KU motherboard. So what's new? Here we had a layout fixed missing keying slot in the user port. Yeah, so the keying slot was missing here. And the next thing was I'm missing some uh, holes for a capacitor, and uh, that capacitor was down here. And I think I made a video about that. So that is not new. I think it was this one. Basically, I was missing holes here. The other thing was uh, some values on the schematic. Uh, so that's not that interesting, maybe. So basically, just schematic fix. And uh, the most important fixes was actually something that was a bit... Do I really want to do these fixes? Because... Now I'm changing away from the replica. Uh, for example, the expansion port was one millimeter too much to the side. Yeah, this connector was sitting one millimeter to the side. And therefore, when you insert car cartridge, it goes further to the edge here. So if it, there, if it was a fat cartridge or some it was soldered a little bit more to the left than to the right. You know, there's some slack in here. Uh, then you would have a problem. So 
inserting cartridges. So I have fixed that. So it's not longer replica one to one to say it like that. But um, anyway, also I increased some power rails. That was actually uh, a, a problem I had with uh, the image I had scanned. So this side wasn't wide enough. So now it's more correct to the original. Also, we need uh, a good tracer to get a good uh, proper grounding. So, um, yeah, so I think that was uh, most of the um, problems. Also, I added some solder pads. I don't really remember why. Uh, but uh, yeah, 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 now I remember because these guys here. They didn't have this uh, ocular ring or what, whatever they are called. The outer ring. The, it's basically a solder pad. So the original doesn't have that uh, thing there. So so I added it so it was easier to solder onto. So another deviation from the uh, original though. Because <laughs> the reason why this board is an interim board to begin with is because it had mistakes. So, therefore, it's also rare because they moved on from it. Like it was just a board in between to fix some problems, and then 25407 uh, fixed all the problems you had in, uh, or most of the problems you had in here, though. So, yeah, so that was what I wanted to show you the interactive uh, routing tool, um, interacting the interactive boom tool. Really handy, so you can follow traces, like you want to see something on the CPU, where does it go? Like here, just click one of the traces, see where it goes, and you can also follow it on the back of the board. Really handy, so when you flip the board over, you know where, where it goes. I will actually use this, actually I will use it for more of my KiCad projects, like for example, Right now I'm working on the VHDL 6526 and um, this is the state of it. It's not um, finished as you can see and uh, it will be a lot of traces. It will be nice to be able to debug it. It will be probably a four layer board so I don't know how useful it will be but for assembling it will be nice because I don't think I have space for all this uh, silk screen stuff. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you another time. Bye bye.